This is Eric with Keith McMillan Instruments. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware and install a bootloader into what we're calling legacy 12-step-1 hardware now. Um, so I'm going to have a couple uh, Windows uh, specific utilities. There will be a, a separate Mac OS video, but for Windows users um, I'm going to open the uh, device manager and you can do that uh, just by clicking on the little Windows icon and saying device manager. There you go. Um, that'll open up right here. And uh, we're going to look at sound, video, and game controllers as I do this. Um, so you can see over here I have a, an OG gray-faced 12-step. This is how they looked when we first came out with them like 10 years ago now. And uh, I've got a USB cable here. This is a known good USB cable, meaning that I've used this with other devices and I know that there's no problems with this cable. And um, yeah, we're going to connect this to the computer and really the, the whole point of this exercise is you want to make sure that when you're upgrading firmware, that you've got a very strong connection, a very reliable connection to your computer because you don't want to interrupt the update process. So I'm going to take this plug and put it into the computer, Windows laptop, and then this uh, side is going to go into the device and uh, firmware 28, this is old firmware now, that comes up. And uh, you'll see over here in the device manager that the 12 step connected showed up. That's a good sign. Um, and you'll even see here now in uh, mini monitor, uh, there, it didn't show up, but that's because you have to refresh the browser. Click it again. Ah, still not showing up. Uh, click it again one more time. Didn't show up. So something's going on here. Um, and likely the reason is that this, if you notice, if I jiggle this connector, you'll see that the device actually has an intermittent connection. And that's because the USB port on this 12-step is bad. And I knew that. Uh, this is from our uh, defective file. And so uh, if you've got a 12-step that has a broken USB jack, reach out to our support. Uh, we can try to arrange to have uh, that repaired for a fee. Um, but in any case, I'm going to set this device aside. Um, and I'm going to grab one that now works, which is this one over here. And I'm just going to plug that in now, and you can see firmware 28. And uh, it takes it a minute sometimes. But let's see on the left here. There we go. The 12 step showed up in the device manager. We can see it. And uh, over here in MIDI monitor, uh, if I look in devices, it's not there. But if I hit refresh, there it is. So reliable connection, the device shows up, great. Now one last check is I'm gonna press the keys and you can see in the MIDI monitor that this is transmitting note on and off messages. Um, and I'm gonna jiggle the cable a little, just make sure nothing disconnects, it's still sending data, great. Uh, we just, we really wanna be sure before we do a firmware update that everything is hunky-dory, nothing uh, is amiss. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear the messages, and um, I'm going to now close MIDI Monitor. And the reason I'm going to do that is because Windows uh, does not like sharing MIDI ports between different applications, and so uh, we're, we're going to want to make sure that we close that application. We disconnect any other MIDI devices that are connected to the computer. Um, we close all other applications. Um, and we make sure that uh, when we load the editor, it's the only thing running and the only thing connected to the computer is the 12-step. All right, so I'm just going to close the device manager. Now, I have a copy of the 12-step editor version 3.0.2. Uh, you can download this from the downloads page on our website. And uh, this is a pretty standard Windows installer. Uh, it's going to install uh, wherever you... Uh, want to, uh, this is the default location, um, and you can select your components, um, pretty standard installer. And when that's complete, um, if you look in the location where it installed um, the editor, um, you'll see that we have, you know, an uninstaller and some resources. 
The editor itself lives in this directory, and then there is a content directory, just as an aside, we've got the manual and a change log. In the firmware folder, you'll see we have some, uh, some firmware uh, payloads here, as well as some commands and a readme. If you wanted to manually update the firmware, you can follow the instructions in here. Uh, most users don't need to worry about any of that, but we, we thought we would just point that out. So uh, installing the editor should have created a uh, start menu shortcut. If you type 12-step editor, uh, here it is. Sometimes it takes a minute to cache the uh, icon there. And then uh, here's the editor. And what you'll notice is that um, the firmware is shown as out of date. And uh, we have a, a message here saying, uh, asking if we want to update the firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, now that we know we've got a solid connection, I'm going to press OK. And uh, you'll see the various steps in the process here. Um, over in the camera, you'll notice that our screen has gone dark. Um, that means that the, the payload for the bootloader installer has been sent, and 99 shows up. That is the bootloader installer um, that will install the bootloader. And now you can see we're flashing. That is the bootloader running. Um, and you'll notice over here in our window that we've been instructed, um, the bootloader installed successfully. Please disconnect your device now. So I'm just going to go ahead and unplug it. And... Uh, the application will now relaunch. Wait to reconnect your device until after the application has loaded. So I'm just going to click Done. The editor reloads. I'm going to reconnect the 12-step now. And uh, you'll notice that um, we're blinking over in the camera here. So the bootloader is the first thing that loads. There's no firmware installed on the device right now, just the bootloader. So uh, we can just click OK, and uh, here's our message again. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK, and uh, if you look on, in the camera here, you'll notice, uh, again, the LEDs are now lighting up. This is the bootloader's loading the firmware image that it's received. It's doing the update right now. It's loading the new presets. And uh, if we look over here at the editor window, it'll take it just a second to request the version firmware successfully updated to 1.0.2. And then again, the application will relaunch. Please disconnect your device now and wait to reconnect until after the application has loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the 12-step. I'm going to click Done. And then one more time, the editor relaunched. I'm going to reconnect the 12-step. And here we are. We've detected the device. You can go into the help about 12 step and you'll see that the application firmware is 1.0.2 and the device firmware is 1.0.2. So we've successfully installed the bootloader and the new firmware. And now uh, you can add, uh, use new features like the, the program change preset control. This is new for the new firmware. Uh, in MIDI parameters, you can select different uh, bank MSB and LSB messages. Um, we've updated some of the language around mono and normal. The editor looks a lot nice and crisper. The uh, images are now all vector graphics. Uh, the size is appropriate for a modern high di uh, DPI monitor. Um, and then, of course, we have our new uh, factory presets available that uh, Tom here whipped up for us. So if you have uh, any other questions, if you want to reach out on our Facebook user group, or if you've got a support question and you want to submit a ticket through our website, uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks so much.